The haunted hay rides are we create these worlds, they're these very immersive worlds, and so they're they're different than haunted houses, which I love. But um, in in our attractions, from the moment you step foot on the property till the moment you leave, you're never taken out of this world. So as you approach from you know, the orange glow coming from the trees and the fog on your skin and the smell of hay, um, you're loaded onto these hay pulled wagons. They're pulled by tractors and you're, you're brought through this trail of 100 foot castles and right. burnt down churches, smoldering embered orphans. Is this, um, this is not a family affair. It is. It, so, but yeah. I have six-year-old kids who love Halloween, but this does not. This seems like more like a rave or something. <laughs> I should be going. Yeah. Hey, look, we have some six-year-old kids that come to the attraction. It's it's all about braver how, than how, I am. This how looks how terrifying. Brave, how I, brave I, your you. kid is. We have. There's. It depends on the kid for sure. We recommend for What's kids the age, over yeah. eight. We recommend it for over kids eight. over eight. But, it, eight. but an eight-year-old will not be too scared. I, don't, I mean, it, again, it depends on the kid. We're, we're counting on the parent knowing what their kid's threshold. And what's the, how long is the experience, if you will? I, I mean, our hate rides are two to three hour long. Right. Um, I mean, they're full evening. Um, this is an event. Yeah, it's an event. So they take your take the whole night to it's, go. And so you've expanded to open in New York last year. Could this expand globally, or is Halloween more of a thing that Americans are really obsessed? I'm excited about my first New York Halloween. Just you don't really way. have it in. Oh. We have it, but I think people take it much more seriously here. So is it this is just going to be a U.S. thing, or can you expand it further? Definitely can expand further. It's actually age, Asian markets are becoming super focused on this. We're getting a lot of inquiry about people who want to bring some of these models to, to some Asian markets, so um, it's it's definitely moving. Okay, so uh, just as a business, can I ask? Yeah. This is kind of a lumpy business, right. like a one quarter a year business. <laughs> do you think that there's other either holidays or other types of things you can do throughout the rest of the year? For sure. It's funny. This is the thing I hear the most, right, is right. that it's seasonal. Um, it's still an $8.4 billion industry, you know, so there's um, there's a lot of money there to be had. And I think, you know, so we're focusing on those dollars because they're already there. But yes, I mean, our company, all, we have attractions all year long all over the country. And um, and we're, we're not just... How in, involved in is Mark Cuban? Very. He's very involved. He loves this this adventure of his, and I think, he, I think it's one of his favorites that he's invested in. So. And so he's a guy who likes to exit. He likes to make investments with the intention of what is it what is it what do you think happens to a company like yours do you sell to somebody else to some larger like how does this work yeah i mean we all start a business to make money right, right. so yeah i think the ultimate the ultimate objective would be to you know drive the company value up and eventually move into a group where we can you know we can have a, a bigger global footprint or or scale quick more quickly um, but yeah for sure there's there's definitely an ultimate goal there Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.